Hi, my name is Melanie. I'm the CEO of Fetch Robotics, and today we are in our simulated warehouse with our robot Fetch. This little guy is Freight. In the autonomous picking scheme that we have, Fetch and Freight are designed to basically pick things off of shelves. The way we see the problem is Fetches can stay in zones in warehouses so that the traversal time in that zone is, is limited, and the Freights can get around to all the Fetches and get their goods. So Fetch is a mobile manipulation robot. Fetch has all the standard features you would expect, which include a back drivable 7 degree of freedom arm. The robot can also uh, go up and down, so it has a telescoping spine uh, with some very snazzy bellows. And then of course it has a mobile base. Freight is a basic mobile base. It has a 25 meter laser scanner, your beautiful charging port for when you need some more juice, uh, emergency stop to avoid the robot uprising. This is the Fetch robotics dock. Uh, it works with both the Fetch and the Freight. We have a floating uh, robot uh, power connector. So this connector can actually rotate, move in the plane, and allow for misalignment in case the robot doesn't come in 100% straight. So here we have the follow pick interface and right now it shows that I have one robot available to select so I can select that robot and then I can select follow and the robot will go into follow mode and then it'll show me the orders that I need to pick. So now as I walk away the robot comes with me. Freight can pair with people and follow them around um, and then be told to go off to a shipping area. We have a lot of the base features that we need to have and it's just about refinement, testing, and doing it over and over and over again. We, we see the robot as a platform that we can put new capabilities on.